What's up, everybody? It's Matt from the house. I'm here with Jason from Burton. We're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the mid-layer pieces that Burton has to offer for the 22-23 season. Let's check this out. All right, when it comes to staying warm out on the hill, your outerwear is super, super important, but your first layer is just as important as your outerwear. You need something against your body that wicks that moisture away from your body so you can stay dry, which means you're gonna stay warmer. But then you get into some of those days when it's really, really cold and you need something that's a mid-layer, something over your first layer but under your outerwear. And Burton has a wide, wide range of pieces that you can actually use as mid-layer. So mid-layer can be just as easy as throwing on a hoodie over your first layer, but Burton does have hoodies and they've got stuff that are just beyond, kind of like hoodies that are souped up a little bit, kind of like this crown sweatshirt, which obviously comes in a hooded version and it comes in a crew neck version. But what sets this apart from just a standard hoodie? So like with these mid layers, it's like you want to kind of build a system. You know, we we're talking about outerwear and some shells and layering and things like that. Um, and when you're building that system, it really, what you're doing is you're making your whole setup, you know, adaptable for any condition. Right. So like we're adding this mid layer in for those cold days. But what's nice about some of this stuff is you'll wear it probably 90% of the time just as your everyday sweatshirt. Right, so this like, just looks like a standard crew neck sweatshirt yep. that you could wear day to day. This is our bonded fleece. Yep. So what that means is that the outer does have an outer shell that's bonded with a, a backing with a, or with a fleece backing, I should say. I and mean, it does have like a DWR coating on it as well. And that's what's really cool about these things is that, yeah, obviously the styling just looks like a standard casual piece, so it can be worn casually. But like Jason was saying, with that bonded piece on the inside, bonded to the outside, having that water repellency, you really can wear this casually. Mm -hmm. You can wear it as a second layer for a little bit more warmth, but you can also ride in it on these spring days. All right, and then from there, we kind of jump up to some of the fleeces, which are obviously a staple piece that a lot of people have, but it's actually really, really good to wear as layering for mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of extra warmth, especially when you get into some of the more technical fleeces. Yeah, you get into like some of our Polar Tech fleece, so, you know, really good uh, long fiber fleece that's super durable, definitely creates a, a lot of, you know, kind of loft just over your skin, so they are really warm, but what's nice is that it's kind of open, so it really breathes really well. If you are trying to build, like, say, like a, a kit that you're gonna be hiking with or you know split splitting in the back country, that sort of thing, having a, a really nice like polar tech fleece kind of in your setup is really good because it adds a lot of warmth, you know, when you have that shell over, but um, it really dumps a lot of moisture and lets it breathe really well. And then obviously just like this hearth fleece from Burton, it obviously has a lot of cool styling so you can mm -hmm. wear it yeah. on its own. And it does, it just makes it a really, really versatile piece. All right, and then from there, we're kind of kicking it up a notch into the insulators. And we've got insulators that have synthetic, or if you need that really, really warm, really, really lightweight, you can get it to some of the down pieces. But the funny thing about insulators is everybody wears these things as regular jackets around town. It's like, the number one kind of style of jacket that people just mm -hmm. wear casually. But a lot of people don't realize is that these are actually designed to be worn underneath a shell and give you that fully insulated kind of jacket feel with a super, super technical shell. Yeah, and again, like kind of we were talking about like building a system, I, you know, me personally, I would much rather have a shell and then put that money towards an insulator piece. Cause then again, you can build that system. You got this to wear every day, you yep. know, all, all day, every day. But then when it's really cold, um, you got that to wear underneath. So um, this is just one of our versatile uh, jackets. This one is a little bit more on the street side of things. It's got the little ribbed collar there. Um, it is, uh, you know, synthetic insulation, you know, fully breathable and everything, pockets um, and everything you need there. But um, great street piece, but also that kind of really good misty um, mid-layer. Yeah, and then again, like Jason was saying, these things are, again, super, super versatile, something you can wear casually, but most importantly, you can wear underneath. And you get those really, really technical shells, and I always tell people, too, like, if you got a certain amount of money you want to spend, you want to get a really, really good shell, spend some extra money and get a super, super thin shell because you can actually wear that jacket technically year-round. It doesn't have any insulation in it. It's all waterproof. You can actually use it as a rain jacket, and then you throw on something like this underneath it, and it's actually more insulated than a lot of the steel standard insulated jackets out there, especially if you get into some of those insulators that are made out of down because the down is warmer than the standard insulation, that kind of, you know, synthetic fill. It's also lighter weight and it's more packable too. So if you want something that you can hike into the backcountry, you can literally pack this thing into its pocket and fit it inside of a backpack. All right, so just like with outerwear, when you spend more, you get more. Whether you're looking at, you know, kind of those hoodie style pieces, you're looking at the fleeces, whether you're looking 
looking at you know synthetic or down insulated jackets. If you do spend more, you're gonna get more technical features, you're gonna get more technical materials, things that are gonna be warmer and they're gonna be lighter weight. But if you got any questions beyond what we just talked about in this video or any of the other pieces that we have at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's gonna fit you and it's gonna fit your needs as a rider. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a mid-layer piece that you can use with or without your jacket. Get out and ride, because any day of riding is a good day of riding.